Greetings to all the students of class 5. Welcome to your online maths class. Dear students, we are doing chapter number 3 and we have learned about highest common factor and the factorization method to find HCF. Today, we will learn how to find HCF using division method. So let us start. Dear students, we will understand division method with the help of an easy and interesting activity we have taken green squares 10 in number and pink squares 6 in number and we want to find the hcf of 10 and 6 using division method for this we will keep dividing green and pink squares till we can form groups of 10 and 6 having equal number of squares so that no square is left. Look students, in both the colors 6 and 6 squares are equal in number but we have 4 extra squares in green color. To divide the remaining 4 squares will bring them down and remove the squares which we have already divided. Now here with 4 we will divide 6 squares. 4 and 4 they are equal in both the colors but we are left with 2 pink squares. To further divide them we will bring them down and remove the squares that we have already divided. Now with 2 we will divide 4 squares, 2 and 2 are equal in both the colors but we are left with 2 green squares. We will bring them down and remove the squares that we have already divided. So now here we have pink and green squares in equal numbers and as you can see that no square is left. So students. 2 is that number with which we can divide 10 and 6 in equal parts. Which means that 2 is the greatest and the common factor of 10 and 6. Now students, what is the HCF of 10 and 6? It is the number 2. That highest number with which we can divide the given items in equal groups without leaving any item behind. Now students, to put the division method in written form, we take the larger number as dividend and smaller number as divisor. And as we did in the case of scale shapes, 6 and 6 squares are equal in number, but we are left with 4 green squares. So similarly, in written form, 6 times 1 is 6. The remainder is 4. To further divide the remaining 4 squares, we take them down and now with 4 we will divide 6 squares. In the written form, the remainder is taken as a divisor and last divisor is taken as dividend. And as we did in square shapes, 4 and 4 are equal in number but we are left with two pink squares. In the written form, 4 times 1 is 4 and the remainder is 2. Now to further divide these two squares, we will bring them down and with 2 we will divide 4 squares. Similarly, the remainder 2 will be taken as divisor and last divisor will be taken as dividend. 2 and 2 squares are equally number but we are still left with 2 green squares. We will bring them down and remove the squares that we have already divided. So here we get pink and green squares in equal numbers and no square is remaining. Now in the written form 2 times 2 is 4 and the remainder is 0. So students, the last divisor that is the number 2 is the highest common factor of 6 and 10. 
so dear students in division method we take the larger number as a dividend and the smaller number as divisor then the remainder is taken as new divisor and the last divisor is taken as dividend the process is repeated till we get the remainder zero and the last divisor is the highest common factor of the given numbers dear students now let us prepare ourselves for pass with what number of squares shown in the following figures 10 and 6 can be divided in equal parts dear students we can divide 10 and 6 in equal parts of two squares therefore option c is the right answer for your homework you'll repeat this activity with 15 and 10 square shapes and from exercise 3.2 you will attempt part a and b of question 6 thank you so much